Just about everybody I know wants to lose some weight. And if that's you, I feel you because I just did it for the first time during this pandemic. Hi, everybody. It's Andy Barrar from HandyAndyMedia.com. And today I'm doing a review for Best Buy's blog on this product right here. This is the Cardio Base 2 Wi-Fi Smart Scale. That's cardio with a Q. Now, this is a smart scale, so it does more than just tell your weight and go and sync with your app. It can actually do your body composition, so your fat, your muscle, your water retention, and your bone density. But does it work? And is it the missing piece for you to lose and shed those unnecessary pounds? Well, we're about to find out. So without further ado, cue in that intro. Let's begin with the design of the Cardio Base 2. Now, it has a looks like your typical scale. It's a, it's round. It's got this glass top and also a beautiful Cardio logo on the bottom. There are these kind of accent lines, you know, shown in it, and I think that's really for some kind of electrical stuff that's going on underneath. There are sensors inside the scale that will measure your your weight. What's interesting, because I've got a lot of experience with smart scales. This I, I have one. I've had one before, and now I'm reviewing one. So I, I think I know a thing or two about smart scales. And what's interesting about the Cardio Base 2 is that when you step on it, you get actually a haptic feel, just like you would on your smartphone, that little vibrations that when you hit the keys. Well, it actually does give you a little bit of vibration when you first step on it. And that tells you that it is reading your measurements. Then you have to sit still for a couple of seconds, like under five seconds, and then it kind of vibrates again, and that tells you that the reading is finished. From there, what it will do is display whatever you want to display on the scale itself, and all of this is done inside the Cardio app. So here's the thing. Not everybody wants to see the number. All they want to see is, am I progressing to my goal? So, you know, because like a number can hurt. So you can set it in the scale where <laughs> when you stand on it, you're just going to get like a smiley face or maybe a not so smiley face. I All I got was smiley faces. So I don't know what other it does, but it just tells you if you're on track with the goals that you set inside the app. So you don't even have to look at the number. You can just focus on your progress without getting in, you know, the numbers, because they can really psych you out. And I'll talk more about that a little bit later. There's also a pregnancy mode. So if you're pregnant, you can actually use a scale to track your weight changes during the course of your pregnancy. If you have a pacemaker, however, you do not want to use one of these scales. This one allows you to disable the electrical impedance. So basically, it's like it's sending an electrical signal through your body, from your leg and through your body. If you have a pacemaker or any kind of implanted device, that might interfere with it. So you definitely don't want to use it. Or if you have, say, have a family member that has it, you can have them use a scale just as a scale itself and not have that electrical signal go through the body. So you can disable that in the app as well. Now, like I mentioned, all of the data that you stand on here goes automatically and syncs into the cardio app. And this is really important because weight loss is not something that happens overnight. It doesn't happen in, in a fortnight. It doesn't even happen in a month. It's a really a long-term commitment. And I should know because in the start of the pandemic, I gained some weight, you know, a little stress weight. You didn't, we didn't know what was going on. The gyms closed down. So I went on YouTube and I learned to jump rope. I bought a rope and I basically just went online and I started recording my progress. And let me tell you, it has been quite the journey, quite the weight loss journey. Over the course of a year, I lost up to 20 pounds and I'm like a middleweight. So that's quite a bit of weight lost. I used my smart scale to track all of that. And I that's why I'm a big fan of smart scales because if you're like me, and you like numbers, you like to see the progress, you can use one of these as a tool to help you stay committed to your weight loss journey. However, the issue I had with my smart scale, and this one too, is the body composition. Because what it does is trying to assert, guess, estimate what your fat mass is, what your muscle, lean tissue, contractile muscle, muscle tissue is, 
what your water weight is and your bone density. So it is really trying to tell you how you are your body composition. Now, the, the smart scale that I have seems to be skewing higher, always saying my body fat is super high. And I've, despite that, I still used it every day. Before I went into the shower, I would measure it just like I did with this one. I was measuring them both back to back. They were giving me the same amount of uh, percentage of body fat. In this case, it was saying about 19, 20%. This scale and the other smart scale that I have. Now, here's the thing. I lost a lot of weight during the pandemic, okay? I jump rope freaking every single day. I have like a six pack now. So when it says I have 20% body fat, I was very, very skeptical. So much so, and it was, it was, it was messing with my mind. I was talking about numbers, how you can disable numbers because it can mess with you. Well, it was messing with me, okay? Because I'm like, I'm 20% body fat. My BMI was like 23 and a half or something like that. 25 is the cutoff for overweight. And I'm like, I'm that close to being overweight. <sighs> Something wasn't right, okay? So what I did is I went to my gym. At my gym, they have a body composition analyzer as well. It's called the InBody 20 or 270. And this uses the same technology of sending an electrical signal down from your feet. However, it also has handles where you can hold it. So I was getting better data with this machine. And then I compared it with the Cardio Base 2 and the other smart scale that I have. So these were saying I have 20% body fat. The InBody 270 says I have 14.5% body fat. And I'm going to believe the InBody because if you look at footage with me with my shirt off, I don't think I look like I have 20% body fat. I don't think I'm one or two BMIs from being obese. So the accuracy, the, ac the body composition accuracy of these smart scales is suspect, okay? You take this into a lab, you, you compare it to the professional machines, I think you're going to see a lot of variability. Think about it. I had 14.5% with the in-body, and these are saying 20. That's like 6%. Five and a half percent. That's like, in, in terms of fat, we're talking like eight, nine pounds of fat difference here. So the, the accuracy is an issue I'm having in terms of if you took this into a lab, will it be the same? However, and this is a big however, the scale is very consistent. Every single day, and this is important with smart scales, you always want to measure yourself the same time every day in the same kind of relative conditions. For me, first thing I wake up in the morning, I grab a cup of coffee and then I go to the bathroom. As soon as I'm done in the bathroom, that's when I just strip before I go into the shower and I will measure myself. And I, do, I did that over the course of a week and it gave me very consistent numbers. So in that sense, a smart scale like the Cardio Base 2 can be used as a tool to track your progress. Just don't read into the numbers that it is giving you because those are not accurate. So somebody goes, what's your body fat percentage? Do not say what the cardio base two is telling you because I would walk around to people and say, I have 20% body fat and they'd be like, there's no way, Andy, you have visible abs. How could you possibly have 20%? But that said, like I mentioned, I have a smart scale. I used it over the course of a, a year to track my weight. And it was cool because the cardio base does this as well. You can go into a graphical form and you can see your progress. And this is very important. So closing remarks. Is this a good product? If you use it right, if you use it every day in the same conditions, yes, it can be very, very valuable. However, like I said, do not take too much credence to the numbers that the scale is providing you because I'm telling you, it is probably most likely, I'd almost bet the farm on it, it's not going to be accurate to something like a body composition machine that you would do in a professional grade setting, in a, like a laboratory or even like a gym that I go to. So if you do want to lose weight, this can be an excellent tool and it is a smart scale. You can have up to eight users, so it's great for the family. Everybody can have their own customized settings. And it can really help you with your weight loss journey. Well, I hope you like this review of the Cardio Base 2 Wi-Fi Smart Scale. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, 
about weight loss. I, I lost a lot of weight. You could, you could ask me. Uh, let me know. I want to be like the Richard Simmons of the digital era. You know, the brown heterosexual <laughs> Richard Simmons. You know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I might be a fitness guy one day. Once again, my name is Andy Barrar from Handy Andy Media. You can get more information about me over there. You can find me on the social as well. That's all the time we have today. I hope you enjoyed this review. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.